Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how to store a custom graphing window on your TI-84 Plus CE. If you frequently use a specific graphing window other than the standard graphing window, you might find it more convenient to save and recall that window as opposed to typing in the parameters every single time. This is one video in my calculator tutorial series. Be sure to check out other videos in the series as well as other videos and playlists on my channel. Without further ado, let's get to it. I have an equation typed in to be graphed, but that really isn't important for this video. We'll focus more on adjusting the graphing window. Press the window button, and, let, and right now I have the standard graphing window on there, and let's change the x and y maximum and minimum values. So I'll change that x minimum to negative 35, change the x max to let's say positive 5 change the y minimum to negative 50 and change the y maximum to a positive uh, 30 and uh, let's leave everything else the way it is and in order to save this window press the zoom button then right arrow to memory and then you want to select the zoom stow option you can either arrow down and then press enter or since uh, there is a number two next to zoom uh, stow you can just press number two on the zoom on the number pad excuse me and that will select uh, the second option and now you see that uh, that uh, window is saved now let's say you change the graphing window to something else Let's just change this to the uh, standard graphing window for now, and then I'll recall the saved graphing window. So press zoom, and press number six, which is Z standard. So press six on the number pad. And now you see I got the standard window right back. And now if I wanted to recall the saved window, go back to zoom, right arrow to memory, then select the option that says zoom rcl which is zoom recall and just hit number three and you see that i get the a saved window right back i hope this video was helpful if you haven't already please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos as always if you have any questions or other comments feel free to leave a comment you can also follow my channel on facebook and post questions there until next time take care guys